back to the channel, guys. We're finally getting back to work on our new project, this 2011 four-door short bed Tacoma four-wheel drive that I am going to be building into uh, a family rock crawler. My son was born a week ago. Um, I've been super busy here at the house, but I have some exciting parts. Once again, uh, partnering up with Oxbeam, they sent us out some new lighting products. I got some LED headlights, I got fog lights, I got a switch panel, and a couple other little things. Um, I've actually already gone ahead and removed the headlights because I am switching them out. I had a cheap set of aftermarket headlights in there that I could not get the adjustment down on. So I have bought a slightly better set. Hopefully I can get them adjusted to point in the right direction on the road. Um, we are coming into winter, so it's headlight season. Um, I, they also have the foam ceiling strip on top of the headlights. So hopefully that will cure my hood buffeting. But I'm super excited to get going on these Oxbeam parts. They've been sitting around for a while. So let's dive in. I'll show you what I got and we'll start getting them installed. So here's my pile of parts. As you can see, I got these new headlights. Um, I've got headlight bulbs, LED headlight bulbs. Um, I've got my uh, switch panel. I've got the AR600 switch panel. I've already got the switch panel itself mounted up in there. I gotta mount this piece and get it all wired. I also have these fog lights that I believe fit in the Tacoma fog light stock location with these cool little jumper harnesses. So let's get started. So to start with, I had the headlights out of the truck, so I decided to install the new headlight bulbs on the bench here, and that really ended up being the right call. Um, these Oxbeam headlights conveniently come apart, and you're able to install this uh, clamp down ring. It's got O-rings to seal out the moisture, but that made it much easier to reinstall the OEM rubber boot that keeps the rest of the moisture out and I found that this was a much better seal than the aftermarket boot that it came with and everything fit better, it lined back up and I was actually able to get the bulb in. With the aftermarket one, the bulb didn't actually fit back in the headlight so luckily I had kept those. After I got the bulbs installed in the new headlights, it's just a matter of installing the rest of the bulbs, reconnecting the electrical connectors, and installing the headlights back in the truck. So I'm working on the install for these fog lights and there was a little bit of a miscommunication and this is what I got. So they sent me fog lights that I absolutely love. They come with clear lenses, they come with regular square uh, trim pieces, all kinds of bracketry that you can have these as spotlights, you can have these as uh, A-pillar lights. Um, and I decided to go with these amber covers and this round trim here is to convert it to a fog light as well as these brackets here. Unfortunately, this is for the 2012 and up uh, model Tacoma. So I'm actually gonna install these on my 2018 and that will be down the road a little bit. So I reached back out to them and I had them send me these bad boys. And these are a five inch ox beam driving light. They have this amazing amber yellow LED light, side lights here, and also a nice DRL right here. I am gonna have to fabricate a little bit to get these mounted in, although I think they're gonna fit much better, look much better, fill out the hole perfectly, and they got these slick little covers. So that's what I'm working on right now. So 
Fox Beam actually sells OEM style fog lights for the pre-facelift second gen Tacoma. That's 2005 to 2011. Um, they fit in the factory mounting locations. They have great light output. Um, they're already aimed. It's a plug and play deal. However, I wanted something that I could use later on down the road. And the lights that they had sent me were three inch pod lights. And the opening is much bigger than that. So I ended up with these five inch pod lights that really fit the bumper nice. And I was able to temporarily mount them just with a little bit of cutting and drilling and it came out great. All right guys, so I've just finished up my install of all of the Oxbeam products that I got. I installed the six gang switch panel, the AR600. I installed some super cool custom fog lights that they sent out to me. I also installed their headlights, their LED headlights. Man, those things work so good. I installed some new headlights at the same time. So I think the whole package just looks amazing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it looks like right now. So I'm not sure if I showed this before, but this is actually where I mounted my switch panel. This was, um, I don't actually know what it was. I think it was just a filler panel. Some Tacomas come with like temperature and direction up here, but mine just had nothing. So I pulled this out. I actually moved the microphone for the radio over here as well. Um, it's super clean, super nice, very accessible. My horn is on a button here because the clock spring is actually bad. So those are like 350 bucks. I just put it up here. Um, and these are my fog lights that I just wired in as well. So this came out really nice, super clean install. I'll go show you the fuses as well. This is where I have the relay box or the solid state relay box or the control box or whatever you want to call it. Um, I got my ignition power right out of the fuse box here. Right there, bam, bam. Um, I got my my big fuse, big uh, circuit breaker down here, tied into the uh, power post in the fuse box. So this all came out super nice, super clean. Really happy with it. Headlights look amazing. Headlight bulbs are in there. I don't know if you can see them. They work amazing. I was actually able to use the factory a uh, rubber boot and really get a nice seal on there so I'm not worried about uh, water getting in. Oxbeam also has, uh, they come with um, double-sided tape for the little control box or the adapter box. So super clean install, really love the way it's looking. And now I got my fog lights. These things are awesome. They fit in this whole absolutely perfectly as you saw i had to trim the back out just a little bit but i think it looks killer and it looks 
it fills out the hole awesome. I'm also gonna use these down the road when I build a custom bumper, and that's why I wanted to go with something like this as opposed to a stock style uh, fog light. They do, in fact, sell a stock style fog light for the uh, 20, 2005 to 2011, and I didn't wanna use that because it's got the Toyota pr proprietary mounting holes and it just wouldn't be usable down the road. These come with their own mounting bracket. I obviously mounted them custom in the bumper, but I think they fill out the bumper nice. They look great. And when I build this custom bumper, they'll be really cool. Let me show you one thing real quick, how I wired it, which I'm super excited about. As soon as I saw these on the website, I said, you gotta send me those. They look fantastic. And that is the DRL function on the light itself. Boom. So I have that wired into the fog light switch so that whenever the headlights are on and the fog lights are on, I got these sweet little, they're like, they're like little snake eyes. Super cool looking setup I have now. These lights are way bright. I definitely don't need fog lights. And if I do, I can always turn on these ambers, but super, super stoked on how this all turned out. So I just wanted to show you guys this. I was definitely concerned about putting this uh, switch panel here as it's like kind of, you know, in my line of sight, which is great for finding my buttons. But at night, I was worried this was going to be a little bit bright. These, this is, you can color change. You can do any kind of color over the color spectrum and you can dim it. This is dimmed all the way. But one thing I didn't realize this panel does is if, if you press the mode button, it just reduces to a, a little blue LED to let you know that it's on. And you can either press mode to turn it back on, or you can press the button that you want to turn on. And there it is. So super cool. Once it's on, you can see that my indicator for my lights is still on, but this is a really nice feature. Um, especially when it's not being used, you can just have it out of sight, out of mind, and it also retains that memory when the key is turned off. So that's a really cool feature. Once again, huge thank you to Oxbeam. Super excited to be working with these guys. Uh, I love their product. I love their customer service. Um, they offer a wide variety of, of lights, lighting solutions, switches, switching solutions, all, all, the, all the stuff that all the big companies offer. These guys offer it as well, great quality and on a budget. So go check them out. I will put a link down in the description below. If you want 12% off anytime, any product on their website, oxbeam.com, use my code. It's down in the description below. I'll also put it right down here at the bottom of the screen. Um, anything on their website, 12% off. I don't get any money from that. It's just 12% off that I forward on to you guys. But that's it for this one. I'm gonna take those other fog lights that they sent me and I'm gonna install them in my 2018 and freshen up the front end of that thing. So I have two rigs with amber fog lights. I think that's pretty cool. So I'll see you on the next one, guys.